<laughs> disappointing. Yeah. Total team disappointment. Especially tonight, yeah, definitely. Yeah. No, there wasn't much commitment to playing defense tonight. When we, we talk about the 60 minute effort, it feels like in each of these losses there's been a period where it kind of gets away from you guys, at least from a score mm -hmm. perspective. I mean, what did you see in the second? That, that exactly the same you see. That we got away from it. One goal, two goals, uh, played soft. We're soft all over the ice. That's the biggest difference. We're soft all over the ice. Obviously. I, I wouldn't use the word inexperience. I'd use the, the word not committed to playing the right way. You know, I mean, we played the right way in in, uh, in New York. There's no reason why we can't wait, play the right way tonight. And uh, it's not from the inexperienced guys either. I mean, they're they're a part of our group. But tonight, you're seeing a lot of a lot of soft, bad plays by a lot of people. It was a team effort tonight. Yeah, it does, yeah. I mean, like I said, it happens around the league, but I'm worried about my team, and I don't like what I saw tonight. Real disappointment in our group. Igor is obviously going to Yeah, I mean, he's probably real frustrated. I mean, I don't know. There's probably four goals that were deflected tonight. So, again, it's a team effort, and uh, he'll be back in there, and he'll better win the next game on Wednesday night. So. I've got all the confidence in the world in him, and uh, like I said, it was a tough night for our team, and um, he's not even close to me, and I'm disappointed in more than our team than him. Like, there's not a chance that three or at least three bucks were deflected by him, and, but we just played a soft game. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's the best goalie in the league, so I'm going to go with him. I, mean, I would say we weren't very good all night tonight. I don't think it was one period. Obviously, he scored a lot in the second. Um, not a good game. It uh, takes four to win a series. we got to move on from it. I guess it doesn't matter if you, you lose one nothing or you lose what we just did tonight. Game's over. Move on to the next game. Uh, yeah, not good enough tonight. I think... Uh, Anybody watching the game can see that. We can see it playing the game. Um, like I said, it's uh, got a quick, quick to forget it, learn from it, move on. Like I said, it takes four games to win a series. We're, we're not out of this thing. And uh, we're going to go home and do what we can to win game five. I mean, I think he's just kind of one of us, you know. I think, uh, you know, we weren't playing very good in front of him. Definitely wasn't on him at all. So, um, I mean, it's going to be up to, you know, every guy, every guy in the room to, to pull together and, and like Troop said, do what we can to win game five. It's, it's very interesting. You guys have a lot of guys who are playing in their first playoffs, and they have a lot of playoff experience. Is inexperience showing in this series? Um... I don't think so. I think I don't think we've ever been worried about an experience. I think uh, I mean we've played hockey long enough and watched the playoffs long enough. We all know what to expect, and I mean we've all played big games in the past. I don't think it's uh, an experience thing at all. I don't think we're ever going to use that as an excuse. I think we feel we're we're ready to play, and we feel we can play with that team. And like I said, we're gonna we're gonna come to Game Five and be ready to play and win that game. Is it alarming to you at all that you guys have this one two or one to come up that game and then? This is the performance you put up when you, I mean, you're back scoring against the wall because you weren't down, you know, facing elimination, but it's, you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you're going to find a guy who's happy with that performance. Um, there's not really a whole lot to say past that. I think uh, we, we know we got to be better to a man, and like I said, we're going to show up to game five and put that behind us and be ready to play. Andrew, the Crosby line's gotten a lot of attention, but for you guys, like the top six forwards in particular, what do you feel like you guys need to do to, to generate more for the team right now? Um, I mean, start by playing in their end. I think, uh, you know, we're having trouble, uh, you know, when we do break pucks out clean, we're, 
uh, maybe a little bit too fancy in the neutral zone, turning it over, or, um, you know, we're not coming back for our D enough. So um, get in the O zone, and then when we can, we just got to get a little bit more bodies to the net, um, get some shots through, and, I mean, I think we know the recipe here, but uh, it's just a matter of kind of going out and executing and, uh, you know, kind of keeping that even keel consistency, shift in, shift out. Jacob is one of the leaders on the team. What is the message for the group going into an elimination game now? Um, we'll talk about it. Um, your, your backs are now against the wall. You got to win uh, three in a row. That's, that's what's in front of us. We take it one game at a time. Like I said, worry about game five. And if we come back to Pittsburgh, we'll worry about that game.